Most photographers want to sell prints, but many won't because they're intimidated by the process of shipping as well as holding inventory. If that's you, today's video may be able to help. And this video is sponsored by Professional Photographers of America. Join the community of 35,000 photographers and find equipment insurance and business tools made specifically for small business owners like you. If you're a creative photographer posting your art to social media, I have probably the easiest passive income method for you to try, and I'm going to show you how to set it up in today's video. Now, it's not preset. It's not selling courses, not selling coaching. It goes back to the basics of selling prints. And in today's video, I'm going to give you a quick little marketing strategy that you can use to allow your viewers and new viewers to your social media who find your artwork to take advantage of this passive income system that you have set up. This service that we're using today is called Darkroom. They're not affiliated with the channel. They're not a sponsor on this video. They're just a great service that allows you to upload your photos so your audience and people who find you can go there and purchase prints in different sizes and then this service allows you to drop ship the prints to them essentially you never have to hold inventory you never have to do anything with the prints personally i prefer to get the prints to me so i can quality check them i can sign them i feel like this creates a much more direct connection between me and the person buying my art but at the end of the day not everyone has time for this and that system is very difficult to implement on a consistent level you have to do print drops whereas this method that i'm showing you is going to allow you to essentially have a passive income opportunity every single time you post on social media. So quick note to avoid some confusion, what inspired this video was me being on a trip to Denver with my cameraman Alec and I was telling him you can sell prints using Darkroom. He set up a Darkroom store but he set it up on darkroom.tech. At the time I made this tutorial I went to the Darkroom Instagram, clicked the link and it took me to darkroom.com. Did some research and it turns out that Darkroom is a small business in a transition from Darkroom Tech to darkroom.com. So there's technically two websites affiliated with this service right now. Alec runs his prints through darkroom.tech. I'll go ahead and link that in the description down below so you can check it out and support if you want. But this tutorial is built on darkroom.com. Just didn't want to confuse y'all. It confused me a little bit, but as a small business owner, I completely understand how difficult it is to switch systems and move from one website to another. So it appears that is what's happening with this dark room service. I do not have a page on there. I have evanramp.com, which is where I sell my prints. So if you want one of my prints, don't go searching for this dark room page. This is just an example. If you want to pick up a print from there, you can support Alec. He helps with all these videos and his car photography is sick. So like I said, I'll link that down down below. Just didn't want to confuse anybody. There technically are two websites for this service right now. First and foremost, we have to understand what passive income is. I've talked about this a million times. Passive income is a term that gets thrown around a lot. Essentially, passive income is just any money that you can make when you're not actively working. So in today's method, what I'm going to show you is how to post a photo on Instagram and have the option for someone to find your work, discover who you are, and immediately purchase your work. So the reason it's passive is because once you make that Instagram Instagram post, you go on with your life. You make another post, you make another post, and every time you post, you can go to bed, and if someone new finds you, that opportunity is there for you to make some money. Passive income does take a little bit of work. It's not magic, but with this method I'm showing you today, the work is extremely minimal. So first thing you gotta do is open up the website Darkroom, and you need to go ahead and create an account. Just make sure you verify your account and email. They're gonna ask you to put your phone number in, and you'll get a text to verify that you're a real person. So step number two here is jump down to account and go to details. From here, you're going to add in your PayPal email address. So if you don't have a PayPal account, you're gonna to need to make one to take advantage of this method. This service only pays out through PayPal. Step number three is to jump over to design. Now there's a bunch of design options for the gallery that you're setting up. You can add in a logo. You can add in a thumbnail photo if you want. You can change your gallery URL, which I definitely recommend doing. I can change this one to ramp.darkroom.com. This allows me to create a unique link to send to my potential customers or have linked in my bio, which we're going to talk about later on. You can add a tagline here, which is a quick brief summary of what you're all about as a photographer, add an about me, and then you can go in and check out the Darkroom Plus features. If you want to upgrade, you can change the layout of your page, you can change the columns, but you can keep it pretty basic. I don't think you have to do anything extra on this. You can also add your social links at the bottom. I definitely recommend filling those in just so if someone finds you, they can 
find your other social medias. Now step number four is go over to gallery on the left side of the screen and you're gonna go ahead and drop in the photos that you wanna add to your gallery. Now for today's video, I'm just gonna add one example in here. So I go ahead and drag this in, hit refresh, and now it shows up in my gallery as a photo that I can sell as a print. Now the next step involves organizing your work. If you're someone who has a variety of different work on here, maybe you have cityscapes, street photography, and car photography, you can click on new collection over here and it allows you to categorize everything that you're selling so it's easier for the viewer to find the specific style of print that they're looking for. But you don't have to do that, but if you wanted to, you'd click on the plus sign for new collection, you go ahead and name the collection, you'd add a thumbnail photo in there, and then you can add in your prints to that collection. But for today's video, we're gonna keep this simple. I'm just gonna do one print that will appear right when you type in ramp.darkroom.com. So I wanna take a quick break from today's video and thank our sponsor, Professional Photographers of America, also known as PPA. Without sponsors like you, this channel would not be possible. Now, a common question I get is how do I ensure my camera gear? And being honest with you, for most of my career, I never had insurance. And this is a mistake I want y'all to avoid. Now, as a member of Professional Photographers of America, I have up to $15,000 of gear insurance at a low monthly price. PPA also offers full gear replacement options with a flat $350 deductible, as well as data recovery services and access to business resources like cancellation letters, copyright transfers, and model releases, plus many more. You can check it out for yourself by following the link in the description on today's video for a special discount on your membership. Whether you're just starting out and want to get off on the right foot, or you're a professional trying to take your business to the next level, PPA is where you need to be. Now, step number six is to click on these bars over here which allows you to select what type of printing you want to have on your site. So because we didn't do a collection for this one example photo, we first need to make sure we select show in gallery. So make sure that's turned on so your image is actually visible. Now we're gonna go ahead and click on these three bars right here. This is going to take us to all the types of prints that are available. Now, fine art paper is part of Darkroom Plus. So if you wanna upgrade your plan, you can get that as well as metal and canvas printing. But for today, we're only going to do professional paper to keep this example simple. So I'm going to go ahead and toggle this off right here to turn off fine art prints. I'm going to hit metal to the off setting to turn off metal prints. I'm going to turn off framing and I'm going to turn off fine art canvas. I'm going to go ahead and click save right here. So now the only option available to our customers is professional paper prints. Now you can see right here, you have some options to turn white borders on and off because my photos already have a white border. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. You can also turn off no borders if you don't want any borders on your image. Next, you can see down here is the pricing structure. So you can change the pricing down here manually by just typing in whatever price you want, but that leads us to the next step of this process, which is setting the pricing. So what you can do is go over here to pricing, click this and now jump down to professional paper and you get an idea of what your estimated profits are going to be for every single print size that is listed on the site. Now right now with the default settings as you can see a 10 by 20 costs $17 and at a price of $21 our estimated profit is 85 cents. This is because Darkroom takes a fee and they have the cost of materials which is static for each print size and then we are left with the profits after the commission that they take. So what we're going to do is click this slider right here and slide this up and try to get to an estimated profit point that is 50% of our cost, meaning we have a 50% margin. So it's right there. So for a 10 by 20 on professional photo paper, if we want a profit of $17, our sale price is going to be $40. And I think that's a very fair price for something like this. So we're going to go ahead and click update prices right here and save it. Now we can jump back to prints and we can click these three bars again and clicking on professional paper, we can see these updated prices right here. Now, one last thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and give a name to your print. So we're gonna call this Ponce Knights and I definitely recommend adding a description in here. We can just say Atlanta Night Photography to keep it simple for today's video. 
but I definitely recommend doing something a little bit more detailed than just that. The last thing you want to notice is this limited edition slider right here. So you can toggle this on and you can make your prints limited to a certain amount. This is something that we'll talk about a little bit later on. For this example, we're going to go ahead and turn this off, but it is a marketing strategy you can use to your advantage. Go ahead and click save changes and now your print is ready to sell with that new pricing that you set. And now we're on to step number eight, which is clicking view gallery right here, which is going to take you to your homepage, which mine looks extremely basic because I haven't filled it in for the sake of today's video. I hope yours looks a little more lively, but you can click on that thumbnail right there and you can see the print. You can see all the different sizes and the changes to the pricing. So we're good. Now, step number nine is the last thing that you want to consider, which is going back into your dashboard and clicking on samples. So if you're uploading a photo here that you're unsure of how it's going to print before you promote it, before you share it online, I recommend ordering a sample. If you've printed a photo before, you shouldn't have any issues, but it's always good to know beforehand if a photo might print weird or not. So what I recommend doing is if you're on the fence about a particular image, print a sample first by clicking on this sample tab right here. You have the option to order a print at cost, meaning you're not paying the upcharge for the print. I just want to mention it's good to order a sample every now and again, especially when you're first starting with a new printer. So now that you've done all that, you're on to the final step, which is implementing your passive income strategy. Now, the strategy that I would use for a drop shipping service like this for prints is anytime I posted a photo online, I would have a call to action letting people know that prints are available, link in my bio. So that means every time I'm going to post a photo online, before I do that, I'm going to add the photo to Darkroom, which now allows me to sell the print when I post the photo. That is the little bit of upfront work here that makes this passive income. Once you do that and once you post the photo, you just let it live. It could be a year from now when the right person sees your Instagram page, finds the photo they like, goes to Darkroom and buys it. It's like set it and forget it. Every time you post, that call to action is there, letting people know if you want a print of this photo, go to the link in my bio. Now, it's important to remember you do actually have to add the link to your bio. So you would add for me, ramp.darkroom.com to my bio. And I would also make sure to optimize my bio with something like prints available here as the last line with an arrow pointing down. This lets people know immediately when they find my page, if they see something they like as they're going through my gallery, there are prints available by clicking that link. Now, another cool marketing strategy you can take advantage of is is making your prints limited. So something you could do is turn on the limited print option that I showed you in Darkroom. And when you create that call to action on your Instagram or any social media saying prints are available, you can say something like a one of one print is available, link in my bio. So that's really it. A quick and easy passive income method that you can take advantage of to give yourself the opportunity to get paid every single time you post on social media. It should only take you less than an afternoon to get this set up. It's pretty quick and easy. The site is not complicated. It only does one thing and that is allow photographers like you and me to have a passive income method of selling prints to the people who appreciate our work. Also, one last thank you to Professional Photographers of America for making today's video possible. You can check them out for yourself and start ensuring your camera gear as well as gaining access to all their resources by following the link in the description on today's video for a special discount on your membership.